native to Europe and brought to the U.S. as an ornamental addition to parks and estates, the mute swan is one of the largest waterfowl in North America. It is commonly found in the Northeast and Great Lakes region of the United States. Of all species of swan, the mute swan is the most easily identifiable. Like other species of swan, the mute swan has all white feathers. What sets it apart from other swans, however, is its bill. It is bright orange with a black knobbed base. Male mute swans typically weigh 20 to 25 pounds. The females are slightly smaller, weighing 16 to 20 pounds. Males are called cobs, females are called pens, and the juveniles are called cygnets. Although called a mute swan, it's actually not a mute. Its voice is hoarse and quieter than other spaces. Its calls have a short snoring sound. And when they're flying, their wings make a loud rhythmic whistling sound. Mute swans are generally monogamous, forming pairs at the age of two and nesting at the age of three or four. Composed of plant material and five to six feet in diameter, their nests are built on shorelines, small islands, or built up mounds on shallows. The nest is usually built by the female, although the male may help gather materials. are very territorial and when protecting their nest the males will lay their head back, fluff out their neck feathers, arc their wings over their backs and swim forward jerkily. When threatened or disturbed, males make a loud hissing sound. The females lay five to seven eggs on average. The eggs are a pale green color and usually become a nest stained over time. The incubation period is about 36 days and is mostly performed by the female. However, the male will occasionally sit on the eggs while the female is out foraging. The young are tended by both adults. Small young are often carried on the backs of their parents.
be pledged and about four to five months and remain with their parents through the first winter. The diet of mute swans mostly consists of the seeds, stems, leaves, and roots of aquatic vegetation. Occasionally, they will feed upon insects, snails, worms, tadpoles, and small fish. Their feeding behavior consists of dabbling at the water surface, dipping their heads and necks below the surface, and extending their heads straight down while upending their tails. I find the mute swan to be a beautiful and elegant bird. And of course, we can't forget about the babies. They are so cute. What do you like about the mute swan? Let me know in the comments section below. For more information about mute swans, check the links in the description box below. As always, if you found this video informative, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe for more videos about all things nature.